Hi, I'm Gary Hind of Cadence Design Systems. Welcome to Security Tech Tips. Today we'll bring you information on how to design for industry compliance ESD standards. Electrostatic discharge events can occur in varying environmental conditions and potentially cause damage to an electronic product. ESD compliance tests are performed by manufacturers or by organizations with the authority to declare the product compliant with ESD standards. Without a mark of ESD compliance, products will not be able to be sold in some countries. With or without a compliance test, product reliability can be improved by designing to withstand an ESD event. Failure to do so can impact profits due to lab and field failures. Our video today will show you how design teams can predict the ESD impact before going to the lab and testing using an ESD gun. Utilizing Cadence Security technology, ESD events can be simulated from your design environment and the quality of the design can be assessed to see how well the event can be suppressed in order to create designs that are robust, perform as expected and can withstand the test of time. No longer will design teams have to spend days in the lab debugging how ESD events cause product failures. Instead, the ESD compliance test setup can be represented in the security tool using an ESD gun model and a unique time domain simulation environment that considers signal, power and ground at the same time. You will build products with the reliability your customers expect and increase profits for your business unit. In today's video, you will see us utilize Security Speed 2000 technology. To learn more about this product, visit us at www.cadence.com. Now, I will turn it over to my colleague, Zhen Mu. Thank you, Gary. In today's presentation, we will discuss the ESD simulation solution using the FDTT methodology in Singularity tools. What is ESD? It is the electrostatic discharge. It can send sudden electricity flow through objects with electrical charges. How does it happen? A person with charges touches a cell phone or a cable with charges to plug into a USB port. Will it cause any problems? Yes. The discharge usually can result in thousands of volts of voltage with several amps of current. That is serious and can damage or destroy an electronic device or an electrical system. How bad the damage could be? Look at these pictures. A device can be burned, a system can behave strangely or completely stop working. It can also couple to other electrical devices and interfere with their working conditions. To prevent ESD from damaging a product, there are standards to test the product. In other words, there are standards to produce ESD voltage and current to test the product and see if it can stand the impact when ESD occurs. One of the commonly used standards for testing is IEC 61042. Here is a testbed specified by IEC 61042. It precharges an ESD gun, then discharges it to the device under test with a kilovolt of voltage and a large amount of current. Here are the detailed requirements for ESD gun discharge. The standard also specifies the discharge waveform. You can see that the peak current is about 3.75 ampere per kilovolt, and the discharge lasts to hundreds of nanoseconds. We need to remember here that the standard of testing is for real hardware environment. It needs an actual product in place to get testing result. From simulation point of view, an ESD solution is to have a software tool perform ESD test in virtual environment and see how a design reacts under the standard ESD testing. The virtual environment here will be a tool environment. Then the first thing the tool needs 
is to have an ESD gun model to stimulate ESD. There are many model circuits available in publications. Here is one of them. We will use it to demonstrate Singularity's ESD simulation methodology. Let's first take a look at the simulation flow here. The steps include obtaining models for ESD gun and the protection devices, setting them up, loading the actual design into Singularity's tool environment, setting simulation and the probing parameters, and running simulations. The key of simulating ESD effect on the board is to have voltage and current distribution view in the actual layout so that designers would know where the hot spots are for ESD or dangerous locations that may break when ESD happens. Since planes for power and the ground are the main paths of discharge, the simulation tool needs to be able to model plane accurately. Speed 2000 from Singularity is such a tool. It is equipped with FDDD field solver and performs time domain simulation on signals, planes, and their interactions. Now, let's talk about how ESD simulation is done in Speed 2000. In 2017 release, Speed 2000 introduced a new workflow called ESD simulation. The new workflow guides users to set up and run ESD simulation, then examine the results. It has built-in default ESD gun model and makes automatic configurations for ESD gun return current pass. It also allows users to add in onboard ESD protection devices, transient voltage suppression or TVS diode to minimize ESD impact. Now, let's take a look at how this new flow works in the software. We first go to ESD simulation workflow and load up a design. Then we can check the design stack up. After enabling the ESD simulation mode, we can select the net we want to include in the ESD simulation. Then we can add the default ESD gun model to the design as the stimulus of ESD impact. We need to specify simulation parameters here. Then we set up observing parameters and locations so we can monitor the voltage and the current waveforms. We need to also set up the match parameters for plane modeling during the simulation. Now we can start ESD simulation to get the result. When simulation completes, we get an injected current from ESD gun and affected voltages at the signal and the power supply. Now. Let's take a memory design example and use the new workflow to study some ESD effect on the printed circuit board. First, let's examine how decoupling capacitors do to the design when ESD strikes. The two pictures show the voltages at different pins on the memory device. Blue traces represent that there is no decoupling capacitors on board and the red traces with decaps. We can see clearly that the decoupling capacitors help reduce ESD voltage value and duration significantly. Now, 
Let's check if TVS diodes can help reduce ESD impact. Here is the current going through the gun, which is not affected by TVS diodes presence. However, on signal and power supply pins, the existence of TVS makes big difference. Again, red traces represent that there is no TVS on board, but blue traces do. Now, let's take a look at what happens if ESD gun zaps on the signal net. We can see that part of the bit streams are destroyed by the ESD voltage. This means that the real device will have operation error during the time ESD happens. And at the same time, ESD noise on the signal net coupled to power nets and other signals. It again can cause operation error to those signals. As we mentioned earlier, ESD simulation should not only report voltage current waveforms at observation points. Designers also want to see where the hot spots would be on the layout and how it changes during the time ESD voltage and the current get into the system. Speed 2000 provides the post-process capability to show users dynamic voltage changes on each layer of the board design. That can help designers to effectively place protection devices such as TVS diodes or decoupling capacitors, even damping resistors. In summary, ESD problem needs to be prevented in the final product. Simulation of ESD effects at a system level helps designers to identify ESD issues at the earlier design cycle and to design good protection scheme. In order to be practical, an effective ESD analysis solution has to contain first simulation environment to mimic ESD test standard, second time domain simulation at the layout level, the third field solver with good capacity for plane shape handling, and the fourth EMI post processing capabilities. Cadence Singularity Toolset provides the unique virtual environment that meets the ESD simulation requirements for system designers. It can create and test ESD generator models, test ESD gun model in PCB or package designs, and also analyze and optimize ESD protection on the design. This concludes the presentation. Thank you. Now, Back to Gary. Thank you for watching another edition of Security Tech Tips. For information on product used in today's video, click on the links below or contact your local Cadence sales representative or Cadence channel partner.